Okay, good morning everybody, it's Mike, and thanks for joining me this morning. Um, different kind of conversation with you today. I'm gonna admit something a little bit personal on my side. I have this driving obsession these days, a compulsion, and it's to make sure that when you wake up every morning, you know what to do. Now it's up to you. I mean, after that, you get to choose whether you're gonna do it or not, but I don't want anybody that I'm affiliated with, that I'm associated with, that I know that's in the business that does want to grow their business this year. I have a passion. I don't want them to be able to legitimately say, I don't know what to do. I mean, Mike, I do want to grow my business this year. There are goals that I want to achieve and I'm passionate about achieving them. I'm just not sure what to do every day. So I've dedicated my life to making sure now that that's not true. That the only thing can, that can, can be true is I do know what to do. I'm just not really willing to do it today. I just don't feel the mojo. I just don't want to get him. I just don't want to. Okay, so whenever I hear, because I've dedicated my life now at this point, I'm not listing and selling anymore, I've dedicated my life into helping you absolutely know what to do every day. So whenever I have somebody that says, well, I'm just not really sure what to do, it's always disruptive for me. It's always a point of real concern. It always makes me step back and check, am I doing my job? Am I putting it out there every day so that there's unequivocally no doubt all the different things that we could be doing to grow our real estate businesses? So that the only question that's left is, am I willing to do it? Am I doing my job? So what I've come back to is making sure that you understand this. Okay, so what do I do to make sure that you can answer that question every day? Well, we do this call every day. And it's almost always geared towards how to sell more homes in less time. And every morning, about 5.15 every morning, I'll post a daily challenge. I post it on my company's workplace site. I also post it on my Path to 20 Million group page on Facebook because I want any real estate agent in the world that wants to grow their business to have a daily idea of what they could be doing. Now you might say, I don't want to do that. That's, I guess, your choice. But you, you can't really say you don't know what to do. And I want to help you build targeted audiences so that you know who you want to do it to and that you have a strategy behind that. And that is the four to six activities that you've got to get done every day. But there is this, I believe this, it hit me last night as I was really studying the issue because it's of concern to me. If you're not engaged, if you're not participating, if you're trying to work from home, well, you can. We don't, but we could. I mean, I can work from home, I just don't. When you're working from home, if you're not connected, if you're not involved, if you're not participatory, you probably do get to the point where all the messaging is lost on you because you've isolated yourself like an island in the middle of the ocean and there's all kinds of things going on in the world, you just don't know about it. What? Now you've chosen to isolate yourself on this remote island and you're missing the synergy, you're missing the swap of ideas, you're missing the debate and the vetting of concepts, strategies and ideas. You're missing all that. You're just stuck out there on that island all alone by yourself. And you might say, well, it's so much more convenient to work from home. I get it. It is for me too. And it's so much more comfortable. I get it. Me too. That's kind of the problem. Um, you might say, well, then in today's world, I don't really have many choices. I say, no, that's not true. Everything I do is recorded and given to you in an electronic virtual format. You could be participating with it, you just don't. Why? When you get disconnected, when you get remote, when you're not interactive and engaged, you're gonna get 
like you're not sure what's going on. You're going to feel like you're wandering through the desert aimlessly with no direction. I fully get it. You've chosen it to be that way because you're looking for the easiest route in this business. You don't like that. You don't agree with it. I get it. You're wrong. <laughs> I know that because I'm you and I've walked your path. It is critically important for you to be engaged, to be participatory, to be interactive, so that you're constantly reminded of the activities and the ideas, so that there's a constant swap of challenges and ideas, so that you can grow your business. You need that. I need that. We all need that. Do I believe that in a future post-pandemic world, everybody's going to be re working remotely from home? I do not believe that. And I'll argue to the last breath in my body against that concept because what I know is people can work from home, they just don't. There's going to be productivity survey after survey post-pandemic demonstrating that productivity in this country is in the toilet, that it is a dramatic drop. I am convinced of it. I see it going on around me all the time. So if you feel a little lost and you're not sure what to do, engage. I'll coach with you. I want to. That's why I offer it. Well, I don't feel comfortable coming into an office right now. Who said you had to come into the office? Who said we can't do it by phone, we can't do it by Skype, we can't do it by FaceTime, we can't do it by Zoom, we can't do it by smoke signals. Who said any of that? You just have to want to. Well, I don't feel comfortable with some of those, even the small group training that you're doing, Mike. Who said that you had to be there for that? We record everything and it's available to you virtually. Are you taking advantage of that? All the great real estate leaders and coaches in this country are still doing their thing and they're all doing it virtually and it's so much cheaper. But are you registering and participating in any of that? Are you investing in yourself? Or has it just become a really convenient defense and excuse to say, well, I can't do that because I don't feel comfortable getting on an airplane, or I don't feel comfortable going into an office, or I don't feel comfortable really doing much, and I don't want the result to rest on me. I want to push it off onto other people. Mike, I don't know what to do today. Be careful saying that to me, because I'm going to really challenge you if you throw that out. Because I want you to go out, and I want you to make it happen for yourself today.